Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Got Legs. I've just received a package from Nike and uh, although I'd love it for it to be some Nike cycling shoes, it's not. It's something even better. These. These are the Nike Vandals Duck Brown Edition. If you have ever seen the uh, Back to the Future movie, I hope you have. If not, it's a big mistake that you haven't. But in the scene where Duck Brown is being shot down, uh, by the way, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the, 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 the film. Great Scott. Where he's shot down in the parking lot at the, the Twin Peaks Mall, uh, he's wearing uh, an edition of these shoes. I think they're leather and in the in uh, in the movie, but these are canvas and the orange, but pretty much the same shoe. I just got these. They're amazing. I love them already. They're just fantastic shoes, and now I've got orange shoes. Anyways, that's why not why I'm here today because I'm going to talk to you about Comrade. So Comrade is a pretty new uh, addition to the world of cycling clothing. Basically, it's a company from the UK. They started out by uh, two friends that thought that every cycling kit pretty much looked like the, uh, one another. Um, they were always in dull colors and with some random lettering. And there was like an obsession with the retro style of things. So instead they wanted to challenge the market with some brighter colors, some bolder designs and all that. And I came up with the Comrade. And one thing they actually uh, had very much focus on was the pricing because a lot of the kit that they um, that was popular at the time they got started, which I think was a couple of years ago, was pretty expensive. And if you look into uh, brands like Rafa or Panamal or pretty much all the indie labels uh, coming out of Australia and all that, they're pretty expensive. I just recently got an email from Black Sheep Cycling uh, where you had to pay up towards, I think it was 250 pounds for a kit. And, and by kit, I mean bibs and a jersey. That's just crazy expensive. So instead they have another focus. They ha uh, the, the uh, clothing has to be affordable. It has to be uh, bold and it has to have some colors on it. And uh, so far they've done pretty good. I came across uh, Comrade because my girlfriend actually tagged me in one of their posts on Instagram. And immediately I got hooked on the whole idea. I really like bright colors. I really like bright design. And I really do like that there's a company out there that is um, challenging the major players. So after looking a bit uh, at their website, I decided to order two pairs of bibs. One of those was the Menton, which is the bluish I have right here. So this is the Menton. It has these graphics on it. Pretty cool. And I also got one called X1, which is basically just a black bib. Um, so that's a bit differentiating towards their concept of having bright colors. But anyways, it'll do. You always need a good pair of black bibs. Since I ordered those, I actually also ordered a wind vest, um, which I've been pretty happy with, even though I've only given it uh, one ride so far. But in this video, I'm going to um, focus a bit more on the bibs and uh, tell you my experience with them. So these bibs are pretty great, to, to say the least. They're quite contemporary because they have this white band um, that grips your leg. If you look at some of the lower price brands, you'd notice that they don't have like this white gripper, they have like a shorter gripper and probably also some sort of silicone dots on the inside to keep the, the gripper. This one is pretty much 
what you see in higher brands as well. You see it with uh, Castelli, you see it with Sportful, you see it with all the, the bigger brands. So kudos for that. One thing I really do enjoy about the black shorts is that they have like the ghost lettering, uh, the black on black comrade around the leg grippers. And also it has the comrade logo uh, also in uh, tone in tone. So they look very good. The Menton is a bit different because it has the graphics on it and you can also buy a complete set. So you can get a matching jersey, matching arm warmers, as well as matching cap and um, a vest. So you can be all colored up if you really want to. But these are with the graphics on the light rivers and as well as the full color logo to match the color. And also the, uh, the straps are blue. As far as I know, every um, Comrade bib is pretty much the same. The only difference is the uh, graphics. So they all come in the same shapes and sizes. It has a pretty large or pretty thick uh, chamois in the back that ends up being a lot thinner towards the front. So you get all the, uh, the comfort you need uh, for your sit bones and uh, where you don't need that much padding, it's, uh, it's less intensive. So really good padding. Um, really looking forward to see how this works out after riding these a year if uh, the padding has gone on flat and all that. But um, it seems like a really good chamois. One of the big concerns when buying bibs today is that the sizing is just weird. You know, if you go and buy a jersey, you uh, you get the, the measurements around your chest and uh, the sip length and all that. But when you buy bibs, they want you to know your inseam and your um, uh, waist. And for me, that doesn't really make sense because the biggest limitation for me to, uh, when I'm putting on bibs is the circumference of my thighs. Because if the leg gripper is really, really tight, I can't pull them on. So I don't understand why nobody has figured out uh, a measuring uh, size guide or size chart that actually uh, accounts for this. So if you're listening, Conrad, please make that because it makes it so much easier for me to buy bibs in the future. Anyways, I didn't have that much problems because I actually contacted Conrad and within a couple of hours, I think it was, they actually responded to me that I sh should probably be in the large category, which is fine by me. That makes it pretty comparable to the sizing of a Castelli Rosso uh, Corsa. So if you're riding the free aero bibs from Castelli, they're pretty much spot on uh, with the size. That goes for the higher end Sportful as well. They're pretty much comparable. In Asos, I'm also a large, so if you're using Asos, you can probably get away with a large as well. The comfort from these shorts are actually pretty good. I've taken these out for a couple of rides that have been over three hours with no problems at all. You know, uh, one of the most important things for me is that I don't get irritations, not on where I'm sitting, but actually in, in the crotch, in the, where my thighs are rubbing up against the seams in the shorts. I have not had any problems with these shorts whatsoever. So all in all, these shorts are actually pretty comparable to uh, the higher end brands um, uh, bib shorts. The main difference is that these are quite more affordable. When you go to buy the Comrade uh, stuff on their website, is they actually have an uh, online uh, currency calculator, so you can actually get it in your local currency. So these shorts are actually the equivalent of $111 or 96 euros or 85 British pounds. So compare that to what you normally pay for a Steli, a Sportful, an Acer's Bips, they're quite affordable and they're actually re really, really good uh, quality. So by any means, check these out because 85 pounds or 96 euros, they won't ruin the bank. The only real company uh, I can relate them to in terms of pricing is actually La Passione, but they're actually a bit more expensive than um, Comrade. And Comrade makes some more interesting designs, uh, at least to me. If you're into the Rafa whole thing, La Pachona is definitely the way to go. I've been told that their bibs are pretty much identical, but at like a fraction of the price from Rafa. But if you're into the more bold, uh, colorful design, you really want to stand out, 
check out Comrade because they have great things. And also, I just checked out their Instagram profile a couple of days ago, and they have some very inter interesting uh, things to come. Uh, they teased the picture of a new kit, and it looks amazing. Amazing! So, to sum it all up, I'm a really big fan of Comrade, so should you. The sizing is pretty much spot on with the Castelli stuff, so if you're a large uh, in Castelli, you're probably the large in Comrade as well. Uh, the only difference is I can squeeze into a size medium jersey, I think, in Comrade, and I'm not sure that I would be able to do that with the Castelli, but I probably would. So they're pretty much spot on with the sizing. Also, the pricing is very, very good. And then there's another thing. The customer service is just fantastic. As mentioned earlier in this video, I wrote them about the sizing. Within a couple of hours, they returned my uh, request with a pretty good uh, sizing uh, advice. Also, when I actually ordered the stuff, you get information as soon as they ship it off and all that. And two days, two days after I ordered it, it was in my uh, mailbox. And that's shipping from the UK to Denmark. So the shoes that I mentioned earlier in the video, they have been five days uh, to actually reach me. So coming from the same country, big difference. My biggest shout out and uh, recommendation to Comrade, uh, please do check them out. I'm not being sponsored for this. I'm not being paid. I'm not being given anything. This is just my humble experience with Comrade and I just can't get my arms down. I'm very excited for it. So if you haven't checked them out, go look at their website. That's it for me for now, guys. I hope to see you soon once again. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, watch the other videos, and uh, until next time, bye.